students today i am talking about kenijaro and cross kenijaro reaction from the chapter aldehydes ketones and carboxylic acids i am very happy to inform you that once i have completed 50 videos i am going to do the videos chapter wise that is starting from the one of my favorite chapter equilibrium and then i will do plus 1 and plus 2 videos simultaneously now i am starting the topic kenijaro's reaction kenijaro reaction This reaction is given by aldehydes without any alpha hydrogen. Aldehydes without any alpha hydrogen. Without any alpha hydrogen, when treated with when treated with concentrated alkali like 50% NaOH aldehydes without any alpha hydrogen when treated with concentrated alkali like 50% NaOH will undergo will undergo oxidation and reduction oxidation and reduction simultaneously that is called as disproportionation disproportionation that is one molecule of aldehyde aldehyde will be reduced into alcohol one molecule of aldehyde will be reduced into alcohol and another molecule another molecule of aldehyde another molecule of aldehyde will be oxidized into carboxylic acid will be oxidized into carboxylic acid students kenijaro reaction is given by the aldehydes without any alpha hydrogen when these type of aldehydes treated with concentrated alkali like 50% NaOH or 50% KOH will undergo oxidation and reduction we know in the redox reactions when a particular element is undergoing oxidation and reduction that is called as disproportionation reaction right so that is one molecule of aldehyde will be reduced into alcohol and another molecule of aldehyde will be oxidized into carboxylic acid students aldehydes when we do oxidation next stage we will get aldehydes into carboxylic acids carboxylic acids right when we reduce aldehydes next stage is alcohols we get aldehydes when they are oxidized we will get a carboxylic acids when aldehydes are reduced the next stage is we will get alcohols one important step in the kenijaro reaction is rate determining step rate determining step in the short form it is called as rds in the kenijaro reaction in the kenijaro reaction is hydride shift hydride shift h minus shift the most important point in the kenijaro's reaction that is rds yes the h minus shift that is called as hydride shift for example we will take benzaldehyde 
C six H five C double bond O H C H O group is attached with the benzene ring. The carbon next to the carbonyl carbon C double bond O carbon is called as carbonyl carbon. Carbon next to the carbonyl carbon it is called as alpha carbon. It does not contain any hydrogen. Then two molecules of benzaldehyde. When it is treated with the concentrated NaOH or KOH, one molecule will be reduced into alcohol. We will get a benzyl alcohol C6H5CH2OH, and another molecule will be oxidized into carboxylic acid. benzoic acid but base is present in the reaction instead of getting carboxylic acid we will get carboxylate anion c6h5coo minus na plus one molecule will be reduced into alcohol another will be oxidized into carboxylic acid base is present and instead of getting carboxylic acid we will get carboxylate anion example 2 we will take another example formaldehyde h c h o it does not contain even alpha carbon when it is treated with concentrated koh formaldehyde does not contain even alpha carbon is treated with a concentrated koh one molecule will undergo reduction to form alcohol ch3oh another molecule will oxidize to form carboxylate anion hcoo minus k plus will get right let us see the mechanism of this reaction mechanism of this reaction we will take the benzaldehyde benzaldehyde benzene ring to which c double bond o h group is attached benzaldehyde when it is treated with a concentrated alkali which generate oh minus here oh minus acts like a nucleophile in aldol condensation oh minus acts like a base oh minus will attack on the carbonyl carbon we know there is electronegativity difference between carbon and oxygen due to that oxygen will retain a partial negative charge carbon will retain a partial positive charge partial positive charge carbon acts like a electrophilic center so that nucleophile can easily attack on the electrophilic center so this will shift on to oxygen pi bonded electrons will shift on to oxygen then we will get a product like this when pi bonded electrons shift on to oxygen oxygen will get a negative charge so then this oh will make a bond with partial positive carbon oh and this h already present with the carbon bonded with this carbonyl carbon when it is coming back this h minus shift will takes place this h minus will attack on the carbonyl carbon of another molecule of aldehyde C double C six H five C double bond O H. This H minus will attack on the carbonyl carbon of the another aldehyde molecule. When it is coming back, then this will shift on to oxygen. First, I am writing this compound. We will get a carboxylic acid C six H five C double bond O O H. plus this molecule is converted into carboxylic acid when h minus attacks on the carbonyl carbon this pi bonded electron shift on to oxygen c single 
equal to O minus H. This H also will make a bond with the carbon. Here, in this reaction, the H minus shift is the slowest step of the process. Slowest step of the process is called as RDS, rate determining step. Rate of a chemical reaction will depend on the slowest step of the process that is called as rate determining step. In the shortcut it is called as RDS. So in the Kenichiro reaction, rate determining step is hydride shift or H minus shift. Dilute that is concentrated base is present, NaOH that is present due to hydrolysis. This molecule will convert into alcohol. C6H5CH2OH and carboxylic acid reaction with the base will use carboxylate anion. Carboxylate anion C double bond O O minus and Carboxylate anion will combine with the Na plus to form salt. This is about a Kenejaro reaction. Next we will do cross Kenejaro reaction. Cross Kenejaro reaction. Cross Kenejaro reaction. In this reaction, mixture of two different aldehydes taken for the reaction. For example, formaldehyde HCHO and benzaldehyde taken for the reaction. Both aldehydes does not contain any alpha hydrogen. Alpha hydrogen is not present in both the aldehydes. When it is treated with concentrated KOH, then in between these two aldehydes, formaldehyde is more reactive towards a nucleophilic addition reaction. Formaldehyde is more reactive. Towards nucleophilic addition reaction. Nucleophilic addition will be oxidized. Will be oxidized. Whereas when we take the benzaldehyde, this pi bonded electrons in the benzene ring is in conjugation with the carbonyl group. Pi bonded electrons of the benzene ring is in conjugation with the carbonyl group C double bond O. So, which will decrease as the positive charge of the carbon. When the positive charge of the carbon is decreased, then it is towards a nucleophilic addition reaction. It is not much favorable as compared with the formaldehyde. Benzaldehyde is less reactive less reactive will undergo will undergo reduction will undergo reduction students when we take the mixture of formaldehyde and benzaldehyde formaldehyde being more reactive towards nucleophilic addition will be oxidized and benzaldehyde which is less reactive towards a nucleophilic addition will undergo reduction. So here formaldehyde is converted to formic acid HCOOH. So base is present we will get salt HCOO minus K plus and benzaldehyde is reduced into benzyl alcohol C6H5. CH2OH. So, this is known as cross Kenijaro reaction. Two different aldehydes, both the aldehydes does not contain any alpha hydrogen, is treated with the concentrated KOH 
are concentrated NaOH. The aldehyde which is more reactive towards a nucleophilic addition will be oxidized and which is less reactive towards a nucleophilic addition will be reduced. If you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.